Welcome back, Bob Gross here. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five reasons on why I prefer my flood and drain system over a traditional media bed. Let's check it out. Reason number one, price. The reason you should build a flood and drain system over a media bed is because it uses less media. Everybody knows that media is very, very expensive, especially the hydrogen clay kind. It's also much more lightweight because it doesn't require that much media or that much legwork to keep it full. Reason number two, you can use different types of media. Here in this bed, in this flood and drain system, you can see I'm using Coco Coir. I have soil. This is soil for my raised bed, nothing special. You see I have hydrogen clay, if you prefer that. And you can even use different types of stones like lava rock or these white rocks. I would love to see that in a media bed with all those types of media intertwined. It's not gonna be fun. Reason number three, all the plants are in their own compartments. Here you can see I'm using different types of pots for these plants. I have fabric grow bags. I have recycled nursery lemon pots. I have terracotta, traditional terracotta. I have plastic pots, you name it. I have all different types of pots. And what that enables is to, for each plant to be in its own little compartment. With a traditional media bed, all the roots of all these plants would be intermingled. Good luck taking out a single plant. Check out how easy this is. And that's all you gotta do. This one is now free for you to, to do maintenance, to do pruning, to check and assess the underside of the leaves, to turn them. Let's say you want all your peppers in this basin and not over there. You can do that. You just pick up the peppers and move them as you choose. Like this. Hey, Mr. Bell Pepper. And you just take him right out. You take a look. Beautiful bell pepper, beautiful banana peppers. But you just take them out and you can look underneath each individual leaf. The fact that they're also in their own compartments allows you to propagate here easily. This was just a cutting that I placed inside of a normal pot with potting mix. And you can see now it's its own plant. Same thing goes for this guy. He was a cutting, a week and a half later, he's his own plant. Reason number four, it allows you to grow plants hydroponically and eventually move them into the garden. Here you can see there's a very big plant, a tree rather, growing in the middle of my flood and drain system. This here is a beautiful papaya plant. You can see that it's placed in just a normal terracotta potter, or pot rather, and I can just take this plant and put it into my garden. Let me show you what I do with my hydroponic papaya trees. Here you can see my previously hydroponic papaya trees. We have one, two, three, four, five papayas growing here. These were started off as plants in my hydroponic system and have since been transplanted into my backyard where they can grow and become big trees and I won't have to worry about them being stuck inside of my media bed. I would like you to try to remove one of these trees inside of a media bed. It's going to be attached to so much media, so many other plants, it's not gonna work. Here I just took it out of the pot, dug a hole, and put them in the ground. Those are beautiful papayas. Reason number five, and this is a big one. When it comes to media beds, it is full to the top with media. It is very difficult to clean the media or clean the bed itself. Here it's just a matter of looking down, reaching down, and removing anything that might be dirty. You also have very easy access to the drains. Good luck doing that with media beds. It's back-breaking work, I can tell you that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Those are my top five reasons on why I prefer my flood and drain system over a traditional media bed. If you guys like the content, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Remember, a lot of the products that I use in my videos are available in the links below. Till next time, Peace.